this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Skylanders Trap Team. In the last episode, I played as High Five, and I made a promise that in the next episode, I was going to play as Cobra Kadabra. Uh, I just got a Soul Gem for them, uh, so I'm able to, to get some more moves, and uh, let's go and uh, check them out. They're a, a magic element uh, Skylander. And uh, I always like the uh, the magic ones. They always uh, have really cool attacks. You know, rather than just hitting the enemies, uh, they normally uh, have some uh, some pretty cool moves up their sleeves or in their basket, as it may be in this case. <laughs> I seem to be a uh, a cobra uh, that is uh, coming out of a uh, a wicker basket. So uh, let's see what I can do then. Uh, I seem to have some sort of blowpipe. Uh, also, like a magic pipe. L listen to this. It's like a song that they use to enchant the, the snakes. Although this time it's a snake doing it. And oh, what's that? Oh, hello. What's, what's this? What's this little thing? What's that? Is it like a little baby snake? It's a little baby snake. Do you reckon that it might pop out and uh, attack the uh, the enemies when they get close to it? I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Anyway, I need to step on the lit tiles apparently. So let's go and step on this tile and see what happens. Ah, so I guess I need to go up them uh, in the uh, in the right order uh, to try and get them, them all lit up. So I'm going to go down here I reckon. And then all I need to get to this one over here and then jump my way up. And I reckon it's going to be the one on the right. There we go. And then at the top here, I was able to, to do it quite well. Uh, it seems to be uh, quite a struggle for uh, Cobra Kadabra to, to jump. <laughs> you can see the way it lifts up the basket when it jumps. looks quite funny. Uh, but there we go. I was able to do it. I was able to get it to the top. And uh, now I need to try and activate the power coil. And the way I do that is by... <gasps> Smash, 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 I will do that in just one moment, but first, uh, I'm going to go and uh, try and make my way uh, through this elemental gate. So if I uh, go and switch over to a, a Skylander of the tech element, uh, for example, Jawbreaker, uh, right now, uh, I'm going to be able to use this and I can get through this elemental gate. And on the other side, I will be able to get myself some sort of a magical uh, hat. Uh, so, oh, I don't know why I've switched over to, to Wolfgang there, but there we go. I was able to, to get through. So I'm going to go uh, now and switch back to uh, Cobra Kadabra <laughs> and uh, carry on playing as them. And uh, let's go and get a, get a hat. I've never seen a snake in a hat before, so this is going to be uh, something new. But first, I need to get to the hat. And this seems um, relatively easy, or maybe not. I'm going to get crushed. Whew. Okay, maybe this isn't easy. Oh, no, I'm going to get pushed off the other side. Okay, this looks really easy, but it's actually really difficult. Can I jump off the other side? And oh, there we go. Oh, just about that was really difficult. It looked very simple, but trust me, that was very difficult. Anyway, it looks like once again, I need to... Smash, 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 a nice wicker hat. It kind of matches my basket a little bit. <laughs> uh, my basket and my hat looks kind of the same. It's like a it's like a wicker sandwich I'm going to be right now. So I got a, uh, a Cubano hat, I think that's pronounced. And uh, so let's uh, go and put that on right now. As uh, seen as uh, until now I was hatless. And oh, it looks absolutely fantastic. And hopefully this uh, is going to teleport me back. There we go. I don't have to do that, that whole thing all over again. But right, what I do need to do is go and try and bring this bomb down uh, so I can blow up the uh, the barricade. And I should be able to do this in plenty of time. Uh, I need to do it before the uh, the missiles start shooting at me, the, the turrets. And I was able to do that. I was able to, to take them all out. But it looks like now uh, we're about to have a big battle. Mabu Catapult! Right, Mabu Catapult, apparently. This should hopefully uh, swing the uh, the battle in my favour. Oh, what's going on? I just fired it straight in the air. Oh, here's the catapult. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were catapulting a, a missile or something. We're, we're catapulting more Mabu into the uh, the battlefield. Right, looks like I have some troops. Uh, let's see if I can do some damage. Right, let's go and do uh, the other move then. Let's go and do this move and see what happens when I uh, fire out these snakes. Oh, it did seem to, to hurt them. It did seem to, to do something. Let's go and try and fire some snakes at them. Oh, look, if they stand near them, uh, the snakes do constant damage to them for some reason. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we're going up against the, uh, the big guy. Yeah, if I do just a bunch of snakes next to it, it's just going to be getting constantly hurt because look it's hardly moving I'm just doing constant damage and there we go I was able to destroy it and oh look we've got a tank coming as well this is cool this is like a, a proper uh, epic battle we're getting ourselves into here <laughs> even though half of our troops do have uh, uh, frying pans on their their heads <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, oh well. Uh, anyway, looks like there's a um, another padlock I need to get through, and a lot, a lot of these are starting to get rather tricky. So on this one, I need to get to that water first, and uh, then I can go and put out the fire. But at the moment, I'm just sort of bouncing around. So how am I going to get to that water? Well, I need to get if I get up to the the right, then I can bounce across on that side bounce pad. So I need to get if I go here, can I go down at all? Oh, I know. I need to get. Hmm, okay, no, I, I thought I worked it out, but I haven't. Right, let's go down this way, and let's go across to here. There we go. Now I think I got it. Yeah, if I go up now, I can get to the water. Right, so I'm now wet and slippery, uh, but now all I need to do is uh, work out how to get up to the uh, the fire, which, um, yeah, uh, might be uh, harder than it sounds. So if I go to here, no, if I go up, that won't help me. Is going down going to help me? Nope, not at all. Uh, if I go this way, it's just going to put me back up to the, the top. Right, let's think about this then. Let's just stop bouncing around and let's have a, a little think about this. You can try and uh, work out what I'm going to do uh, at the, the same time. Okay, I seem to need to try and get uh, kind of near the bottom in the middle, sort of down here. If I was one block to the left now, I could go straight up. Oh, no, actually, if I go like this, then this, then this. There we go. I think I've done it. I can put out the fire and get in. There we go, instead of just jumping around like crazy, uh, just trying to, to work it out uh, seemed to be the uh, the best way to do it. And all this is dangerous. There is fire everywhere. So the first thing to do uh, is to, to get to that water. I can go up like this, uh, but if I go left, I'm going to get burnt. And if I go right, I'm going to be pretty much back to, the, uh, back to where I started. So let's go down, and uh, I need to try and get... Hmm, I need, I need to get that water somehow, but I don't know uh, how I'm going to get over there. If I go like this and this and this, oh, here we go. Now I've got the water. Now we're talking. I can go and uh, try and grab some of this money while we're here. And uh, now I just need to oh, get some spare water. Just top myself up. Uh, now I need to try and work out how to, uh, to get to the actual end of the level, which is why we're here. Here we go. I think I've done it. There we go. Straight through to the end. They are getting tougher, but I think I am gradually uh, getting better at solving these puzzles. And look at that. Look how annoying that is. I'm so close to the exit, uh, but I just can't quite get to it. So I reckon I'm going to need to go through that fire. Uh, so I'm going to have to get the, the water first, uh, which was relatively easy. And I got the, the diamond as well. Uh, so now I need to find out a way uh, of putting out the, uh, the fire if I can. So if I go right now, it's going to put me straight up. But if I go down, I'm going to get looped around to here. And uh, I think this has helped me. And oh yeah, if I can go up, I can go like this. And then I can go back. No, that didn't help me at all, did it? Right. Let's go back around here then. So I don't want to go right. I want to go like this. I'm pretty sure I want to go like this. And then if I went up now, I would end up uh, pretty much getting taken back to where I was. So let's go down then. I think I'm supposed to go here. But how am I going to, to get to that fire? Hmm. I, I reckon I got to need to go through that fire because otherwise that fire wouldn't be there. So I think I need to somehow get down, you see, down two blocks and one to the left. I think if I get there, I could then go up and then to the left and I'd be able to, to get in. But I have no uh, idea uh, how I would be uh, supposed to, to get there though. If I loop around like this, it's going to take me to here. But then if I went right, I'm going to go straight up to the, the top again. Well, if I go around like this, and then, oh no, I'm really close. I'm really close to where I want to be, uh, but I'm just about not quite there. Okay, let's do the, let's try the, the opposite tactic uh, to what I did last time. So last time, I tried to really overthink everything and try and work it out. This time, I'm just going to go and try and randomly move everywhere and just see if I just happen to, to luckily work it out. So far, it doesn't seem to be working too well, but <laughs> who knows, I might randomly get lucky eventually. Nope, I've managed to, to grab the water again. Surely if I just if I just did this for long enough, surely if I just kept constantly moving, eventually by chance, I'm going to end up going into to where I need to go. I mean, it, it's not happened yet, but sure, surely eventually it would. Um, okay, maybe not. Okay, let's have, a, let's have another think about this then. So uh, I need to... Uh, I, I reckon that, that I'm going to have to get to the fire. The fire wouldn't be there if I didn't need to get there. So let's not worry about the end. Uh, let's just try and work out how I would uh, get to that fire. So I either need to come at it uh, from the, the left here or from down at the, the bottom. And I don't know how I'd get uh, to the uh, the left here. So I reckon it's got to be from the, uh, the bottom somehow. But I can't actually see uh, how I'm supposed to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little think about it. Then I'm going to cut ahead in the video uh, until I've been able uh, to work it out uh, what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I, th I think I've worked it out. I think I've worked it out. All right, if I go like round to here, then go across and then go down, there we go. I, I, I was thinking that I wouldn't fit through there and wouldn't be able to get down, but there we go. I was able to work it out. And I proved again once, uh, yeah, I proved once again uh, that instead of just 
going around randomly. Uh, actually trying to sit there and work it out actually actually does work better. So who would have thought? Actually thinking does pay off. Anyway, let's go and throw a, a bunch of snakes into the middles of uh, all these enemies. And uh, let's try and get a, a snake close to this guy here. There we go. I did it. So that's now going to be doing a uh, constant damage against him. And it should be pretty easy to, to finish him off uh, using my little pipe thing here. But there seems to be a whole bunch of uh, little side rooms. And oh, another puzzle, another puzzle. They are coming thick and fast right now. <laughs> right, after solving the last one, I'm feeling a little bit more confident uh, that I'm going to be able to solve this one. And I actually know uh, what these things do now. So <laughs> I've managed to, to grab this and I can go and put it there. And if I grab this one, I can go and put it up there. And I don't know how that's going to help me. But I assume it will somehow. I assume it will. <laughs> right, so uh, how am I supposed to... Hmm, that's just getting rid of that one again. Uh, so where am I supposed to come uh, at it from, do you reckon? Uh, I, I reckon I need just to get uh, a little bit higher around there. Uh, like up to the, the right somewhere. Uh, but I can't like that. Has that helped me at all? Hmm, I'm not sure uh, how it would have. What, what I basically did at first was I just switched around at all. I did it. There we go. Apparently sometimes randomly going around the place can help as well because I have no idea how I solved that. I was just whizzing around the place and it ended up working. So <laughs> I guess what I proved then is sometimes thinking things through and working them out is the best way to solve a problem. And sometimes you can just get lucky as well. <laughs> and uh, you better hope you get lucky because that's the easiest way to do it. Right, another room, another padlock. Nope, looks like they've just uh, presented the, the treasure for me here. Was that a... Is that an invisible wall? I kind of seemed to, to stop moving there for a second. But no, I was able to go and grab all of the treasure. And you know what? I have found a lot of secret areas here. I found uh, two elemental gates. I found uh, the, the flying sapphire. I found the... Um, uh, the soul gem. I found all of these secret rooms. I think I'm actually doing a, a pretty good job uh, of uh, of actually finding everything here. And oh, I should probably um should probably go and help out my friends a little bit rather than just staying back there. Let's go and uh, throw in a, a bunch of these snakes. And it doesn't matter too much about getting hurt uh, because that was a, a regeneration point behind me. And it basically just goes and puts all my health straight up uh, if I end up do uh, getting damage. So I guess I can kind of just charge in and just do as uh, as much damage as I can, just like I'm doing. But look, there's a, a whole load more little goblins coming. Uh, let's go and. To leave a whole load of snakes. They are doing a lot of damage because everyone's just staying still. Uh, they're just getting constantly hurt. I'm able to, to really hurt them. And look, I can go and uh, grab some of these um, uh, oranges here, these orange slices, uh, which means I don't even need to go back to the regeneration play point. But I seem to be, I seem to be running low on numbers. My Mabu force uh, seems to be running low. I should probably uh, head back and uh, try and get some some more to help me out. But my tank is still going strong, and I think that's the uh, the thing uh, that's going to do most my uh, firepower. So let's go and. Uh, throw down a few more of these snakes. I don't know, they're big things firing right at me now. Yeah, all of the, the Mabu have gone, and I'm getting shot directly at me now. It's just me, the tank, and all of my little snakes <laughs> going up uh, against uh, all of these people, but I seem to be dealing with it, and here we go. Finally, we've got some, some reinforcements coming in. We've got a, a new batch of uh, Mabu uh, running in to, to help us up, and oh, I was able to, to level up as well. Not too bad. I am now uh, level two. It actually took uh, a little while to, to get to this level. Oh, there's another little catapult thing here. If I pull this, I should hopefully get some some more reinforcements. And oh, did you see that? When it, uh, the camera pulled out, uh, I saw that there was a, uh, another soul gem uh, sitting on the, the hill back there. So once uh, I've been able to, to take out all of these people, I think I'm going to go and uh, head back and uh, try and uh, uh, yeah try and uh, find some of these secret areas. But right now, I am getting mighty, mighty hurt. So I might go and uh, hide back here just for a little bit <laughs> and uh, let uh, a few more of my, my tanks and that push in and uh, yeah try and take out some more of these people. Let's just go and uh, throw some snakes in and then kind of back off a little bit. And oh look, we're breaking down the fence. We're breaking down the, the final wall. Let me back off because uh, I am getting uh, a little bit hurt now and uh, my defense isn't uh, too strong uh, with this uh, character so I don't want to run in too much and they're all going after me but here we go. This is what I needed. There we go. I've now got my uh, health fully up uh, just by eating uh, a couple of these pretzels but they're still coming. They're still just continually dropping in. We've got uh, to the fence at the end uh, which I think we need to destroy uh, but they are still non-stop coming after us. So it looks like uh, the tanks and the uh, the Mabu uh, are trying to destroy the fence and so while they're doing that I'm just going to go and try and defend them and uh, take out all of these these goblins. But there we go. I think I did it. I think I got through uh, to the, the final area. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, uh, once I go through that gate, uh, that is going to be where the uh, the rocket is. And I uh, <laughs> got Wolfgang in the background there making uh, a bunch of racket like he, uh, like he always does. And I haven't really uh, used him much. I need to, uh, to make sure I do uh, play as him for a little bit. I've not really needed to. 
Normally, uh, it's as a, as a last resort, I go and switch over to the uh, the villain uh, to try and help me out. But so far, uh, I've been dealing with things uh, okay. Uh, I've not really uh, had to, but I'm sure uh, there's going to be some uh, battles coming up later where that's going to change, and I'm going to have to, to desperately uh, try and switch over. Uh, but anyway, let's see if we can get that, that soul gem then. So uh, this is where the uh, regeneration point was. I don't really need any health, uh, but I don't think I've been up here yet. And oh, look, there's a trophy right there. Ah! I can jump over these barricades. I didn't realize that I could, but there we go. I was able to find the, the legendary treasure. It was a, uh, a parachuting uh, Mabu, I think that was. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can uh, jump back over the other side. Oh, look, I can destroy it. I can just go and uh, shoot through the uh, shoot through the, the barricade then. So uh, where else haven't I been? Uh, I, there was a uh, another barricade up here to the uh, the left somewhere yeah uh, just over here and i've not been through here look there's a a whole load of barricades up this way actually uh, but the the soul gem uh, was up high on the the right somewhere so unless this loops the the whole way around i'm probably gonna have to go and have a, a look over there somewhere like this level seem to be quite small but there are so many of these uh, little hidden areas and what's this troll weapons lab what's this thing there's a little bomb there's a little bomb that i seem to be facing a grenade. <laughs> it's a grenade which is smiling. It's a grenade. <laughs> I like it. I like that name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully this is going to be uh, another uh, uh, villain uh, which I'm going to be able to, to trap and uh, use uh, for myself if I can. Uh, so let's go and uh, try and back off and uh, try and do myself a little bit of damage. But right, this actually might be a good point uh, to use Wolfgang because Wolfgang uh, should be uh, mighty powerful. And uh, just like um, uh, the Cobra actually, uh, he fights by uh, using music. Seems to be the, uh, the way to go right now. Look at him slide around and I did it <laughs> I was able to, to take grenade. him out I have now captured myself a smiley grenade and uh, he's a, uh, a fire skylander well a sky uh, a fire villain I mean so if I go put in my my fire trap I should be able to uh, to catch it in there nice and snug and uh, I'll be able to, to battle as him in the future grenade trapped <laughs> He's not much of a, uh, a talker, is he? Right, let's uh, choose to, to be the grenade then. He just seems to make lots of really weird beepy noises. <laughs> I guess that would be a, a change from uh, what Wolfgang was doing. So what can he do then? He can he can blow himself up by the looks of things and then just reappears. And oh look, he can make little babies, little baby grenades as well. That's awesome. And uh, he can also, of course, open up this stash by smash, 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 potato! Yay! Oh, treasure chest found. Well done, me. And look, I love the way that. Once he spawns and all the little grenades, it's kind of like the, the mother duckling, the way they all follow behind him. It's kind of like a, a slightly more terrifying sight of seeing a, a mother duck with all of the, uh, the little ducklings following it. <laughs> but this time it's a big smiley bomb walking around. <laughs> oh well, there we go, I got myself a brand new villain. It's always exciting uh, when I get myself a new villain. Oh look, I found a, a story scroll uh, here as well. I certainly uh, am doing well uh, doing uh, finding all of the, the bonus things uh, in this area. So there we go, uh, I got a, another scroll. I won't be reading it now. Uh, but there seems to be a teleportation point there. But before I go in there, I'm going to have a little bit of a, a wander around here. Oh, look, I found a bomb. I found another bomb over here. And I'm not sure what I need it for. But I reckon I'm going to need it for something. But first, uh, let me go on this uh, teleporter and see where this takes me. Oh, aha! This took me to where the... um to where the soul gem was so I've been able to, to find that but I reckon there's going to be another secret around here uh, because I don't know why uh, there would be the um why there'd be the the bomb here otherwise what is there what is there for me to blow up that's the gate that I got open anyway unless I could have used the bomb to blow open that gate uh, but I don't think I'd have really needed to because the uh, the Mabu seemed to be dealing with that uh, relatively nicely. Let's just go grab the bomb and let's just run with it and let's see if just something uh, obvious appears that I, I should need to, to blow up. It should be down here somewhere. Let's go uh, try heading down this way with the bomb. Is there anything down here that I could I could use to, to blow up? Anything down this way? No, the bomb's about to blow up. Let's just <laughs> let's just throw it. Let's just get it away from me while I'm while I'm carrying it. I'm not sure then. Unless there's uh, some really big secret uh, that I've missed, I have no idea uh, why that bomb was there. But sadly, uh, we have just about uh, run out of uh, time in this episode here. So uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be pushing forward and I'm going to be hopefully uh, trying to, to get the rocket and uh, then getting out of here. So uh, yeah, make sure you uh, come back and uh, check out that video. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!